Alert Weather with Madeline Parker is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Still tracking these storms as they are moving across the heartland. We're pretty much completely in Kentucky at this point. We are seeing these severe thunderstorm warnings that are mostly out of our area, but some of the people in these areas could be experiencing some wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour and some nickel sized hail that could be doing some considerable damage. We are still seeing some lighter rain in parts of Kentucky and into Tennessee as well. More westward parts of Kentucky, I should say. We're seeing a lot of lightning, hearing a lot of thunder with those storms as they are continuing to move. But what can we expect these storms to be moving out? So around 5 o'clock, here's what Futurecast is expecting. We're going to be seeing a, lot, a little bit more dry conditions, seeing a little bit more rain still in parts of Kentucky, but southern Illinois and southeast Missouri looking a lot drier as we head into the evening hours. Might see a pop up shower or two later on this evening over in southern Illinois before 10 o'clock, but by 10 o'clock should be seeing a lot more dry conditions and just a few of those clouds as we head into the overnight hours. Now tomorrow morning, if you're an early riser, might see some storms starting to come your way, especially if you live in southeastern Missouri or in some of our northern counties in southern Illinois. We do see some of these winds coming off them, so we could see some potential gusty winds blowing off of these storms. They're going to dissipate mostly by around 8 a.m. Might see some lighter rain in some places, see a little bit of heavier rain in our eastern counties in southern Illinois and in parts of Kentucky. But for the most part, mostly dry for your Tuesday morning as those storms begin to leave again. Mostly dry for Tuesday afternoon as well. See a little bit of rain on our western edge in southeastern Missouri, but looking at a lot of sunshine for southern Illinois and in parts of Kentucky for tomorrow afternoon. And then clearer skies for Tuesday evening. We do see a few clouds lingering about, but for the most part looking dry as we head into the overnight hours and still seeing just a little bit of clouds. And then Wednesday morning looking much cloudier, but not seeing a lot of precipitation. Now, as a reminder, we do have two different severe threat levels for today into the evening hours. It does look like that level two has been expanded for most of Kentucky and into Tennessee, but for Southern Illinois and Southeastern Missouri, looking at a level one, a marginal risk, looking at mostly potential risk for some gusty winds. Right now here in Cape Girardeau, it's much drier than it was earlier, looking at 82 right now. A little bit breezy with 11 mile per hour winds. Feels a little bit warmer thanks to that humidity. Feels a bit more like 88 degrees outside at this moment. Tomorrow morning, going to be seeing temperatures in the low 70s, 76 in Mount, 86, 68 in Mount Vernon, excuse me, 71 in Marion, 70 in Fredericktown, 71 in Poplar Bluff, and 70 over in Paducah. Tomorrow, our high is going to be looking at the low 90s, 91 in Mount Vernon, 91 in Marion, 92 in Fredericktown, 91 over in Paducah and in Poplar Bluff. So here's what you can expect over the next couple of days. We do have a chance for those isolated storms on Tuesday, but then we're going to start warming up by Wednesday, getting up to about 94 degrees, and then we can see 96 by Thursday. And then unfortunately up to 97 as we head into the weekend could potentially see 98 degree temperatures on Sunday. And thanks to all that humidity we're also going to be seeing could be feeling much hotter than 97 and 98 degrees over the weekend. We have some low chances of rain. We do have a potential for some more storms on Saturday, but it's a little too early to tell at this moment. But just stay weather aware as you're making your plans for the weekend.